Today I have with me Megan Prinz. She is currently a student at McGill University uh, in Honors Investment Management and she also interned at Goldman Sachs this summer. So thank you so much, Megan, for taking the time to be here with us. Thanks for having me. Super excited to be here. I'm going to be asking you a few questions, and feel free to respond in any way that you, that you wish. Um, some of these questions have been um, submitted from some of the viewers, and uh, it's going to be predominantly about uh, you know being a girl and, 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 and investment banking and like where you see yourself and, and why investment banking, what that world entails and, and finance in general. Um, it's it's kind of like a, a world that we always talk about in terms of, of maybe men because it's like such a male dominant field. So it's so great to have like a female perspective. Um, so my first question would be why, you know, why finance? Sure. So I initially decided on pursuing finance in my second year, but had no idea where in the industry I saw myself. Um, but long story short, ended up spending my sophomore summer in the securities division at Goldman Sachs. So I sat on a trading desk and had a really, really awesome time. I mean, I learned so much that summer, and I learned probably more in those 17 weeks than I did in the past two years of school. Um, but also had the opportunity to kind of reflect on myself and my, my own skill sets and realized, you know, it was some of the, the longer term transactions and mm -hmm. deals that required a deeper level of analysis at the company level that interested me most. So I ended up pursuing into uh, mobility into banking. Okay. Um, and that's where I spent the past 10 weeks. And, you know, I'm super glad I made that transition and I found, you know, a, a division that, that best suits my skill sets. Okay, that's really great. And when you... So you're still a student at McGill, right? Yes. And did you always know that you wanted to pursue banking or, or finance? Not at all, actually. It was quite a learning process since I got here. I studied the sciences all throughout high school, um, but I've always been very interested in, in the business world and in investing. Um, so that motivated my enrollment in the management program. Mm -hmm. um, actually, I, at, at the get-go, I, I thought I would pursue or, or do an undergrad here and then go into law school and maybe study oh, wow. or, or work in the field of corporate law. That's okay. really changed quite a bit um, and, and definitely for the better. It was through you know a series of courses and, and conversations I had with people that made me realize that there were so many other fields out there. And, and I'm really thankful that I kind of widened my horizons and, and you know reconsidered other opportunities beyond what I initially thought because um, you know, actually having interned in a number of different fields and having the chance to spend a couple weeks and, and talk to people in different divisions has been super rewarding and I've, I've learned so much about where I want to be post-grad and, and I'm really looking forward to, to that experience. Okay, great. The sentiment that, that went along with, with finance for I think a lot of girls was that it was quite intimidating and I, I don't know if, if it's uh, a gender thing, like I mean guys are also quite uh, afraid when you're going into your bachelor's, everyone's new, everyone's just trying to figure their way in, and um, how, did, how did you deal with that? Um, were you scared? Because <laughs> it's, you know, honors investment man management and, and investment banking, it's really difficult. So how did you have the confidence to, to do that? It's a good question. I would be lying if I said there were points where I wasn't intimidated, because that, that was a for sure thing. I mean, I remember when I was, when I initially decided to pursue finance, I would look around at my peers and all of them seemed to know so much more than I did and seemed to be so much more confident than I did. But in hindsight, I'm so glad that I pursued what I was passionate about. I mean, to this day, I know I would regret not having gone through recruitment or not having applied to owner's investment management simply because I didn't think I could do it. And okay. that, that genuinely was a thought that crossed my mind. Um, and to be honest, one of the biggest things I think I've learned throughout my undergraduate degree is, is to go for it. I mean, mm -hmm. if you're excited about something, if you're passionate about something, then you're only doing yourself a disservice by not pursuing it, or at least attempting to do so. Mm -hmm. um, and, and just in reflecting on, on my past experience too, I think having that healthy level of, of self-confidence, especially as, as a girl, I think will take you really, really far. Oh, okay, great. And um, yeah, so I know that from, from the viewers, um, they're wondering, maybe on, on, can you talk about the stereotypes? I know that <laughs> um, we always laugh about this, right? And, and how there's just this Wolf of Wall Street stereotype <laughs> that's attributed to people in finance um, and how they've got to be mean and they've got to be, you know, uh, hmm, 
selfish and and just the, this alpha male and they've got to use words like dabble in tobacco <laughs> so is that something that you've come across and uh yeah maybe you can i mean you're in you're in investment banking like you're in finance so have you have you actually seen these stereotypes come to life <laughs>